school, then quit to follow his passion of boudoir photography. Then he started uploading comedy posts during the pandemic and basically blew up. Here's a look. Get up. It's time to do farm chores. Good morning, good morning. Damn, it's hot out here. My fingernails sweating. Trip me up again and I'm gonna turn your ass into bacon bit. Y'all stink. This is not the Winter Olympics. Get off the damn barn. Keep on. When your ass is a little damn chick nugget, I don't want to hear it. You won't even make it to damn Chick-fil-A, honey. I'll take you to McDonald's. He's now, <laughs> he's now got nearly four and a half million followers on TikTok, and he's touring the country. You can find info for his Win That Thing, Gets a Thing and Tour online. But please say hello to Matt Matthews, everybody. <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh my God, wait, what? I got spanks on. Oh my God. I just now don't have to wear them. Look, I went back to come on here looking like a busted can of biscuits. You look right and tight. Can and of I, biscuits? I was like, I can't look left and oh loose. Oh my God, I'm left and loose? So wait, I have to know, this is a random life have you had. So you, you journeyed from nursing to photography to comedy. Yeah. What? How did we get there? Child. What kind of things were involved? Let me tell you something. Nursing wasn't for me because I realized that that's not Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> so I said, baby, I can't do it. I was like, wait, this is not for me. It's not for me, so I had to drop out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and then I started boudoir photography because I wanted people to realize that it wasn't your weight that determined your self-worth. Yeah. And I never loved my body growing up. My mom never loved her body growing up, so I never saw body positivity. Oh, man. And so I wanted to make people feel beautiful. Yeah. And so I embarked on this journey as a boudoir photographer, and it has been one of the most incredible careers that I could have ever had. Love. But I always loved entertainment, and I always wanted to make people laugh and entertain people. And yeah. everybody's like, baby, you need to be a comedian. I said, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't know how but to do that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have no desire to do stand-up. I never yeah. watched stand-up. It was never something that I wanted to do. Oh, man. And I so finally it. I was like, let's give it a shot. Yeah. And it, it popped off. Is this because of, do you think because the pandemic kind of put you in this, like, weird place where everybody kind of was? And then, because you went on TikTok. Why TikTok? I didn't even want a TikTok. Okay. okay, everybody's like, you gotta get a TikTok. I'm like, I'm too old for TikTok. It's like people dancing and lip syncing, you know, I was like, no. Yeah. And so my best friend was like, you're ridiculous. You literally take care of your animals and you cuss them out in a row. In a row? I said, baby, laundry detergent too expensive. I'm not, I'm not changing all these clothes, so I'm just gonna wear my robe. Cause you'll rent them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just wear my bath robes to take care of them. Absolutely. And you know, people were just like, it made me laugh. This is a time that I've never, you know, like it's a really, really dark time in the world. Yeah. And for people to laugh and feel good yeah. was just like, made me feel incredible. Oh my, no, I get it. I love stand up. I watch so much stand up. I love to laugh. Yeah. So what is your least favorite farm chore? Girl, that chicken doo doo. <laughs> I can't. You kept it so daytime. Kill, uh, well, you, I could He's be on here chicken saying doo -doo. it. You want me to? I love uh, it. No, no, I love it. So you don't like that? It's a lot. It's Chickens a lot. Chickens poop a lot. And I got like 40. Sort of rabbits, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so it's too much. It's a lot. You want somebody else to do that. You're like, I want to make enough money mm. if somebody else is doing the chicken. Really no, like I enjoy my animals. They're my escape because I don't like people. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, like, it's, yeah, yeah. it is my way to, to... I love animals, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my way to get home and enjoy, you know, yeah. the silence and the, you know. I agree. They can't peck you, though. They'll get, they'll get and you. And they'll go to KFC. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, where did the name of the tour come from? Because it's quite the title. Okay. Where did that come from? You really want to know? Yes. Okay, so I was doing my chores. Okay. And I was in my robe, and I didn't have no drawers on. Okay. And I was twerking. Was it breezy? And okay. I was twerking and I went to pick up a bale of hay and I was just a twerking and like singing my song and my best friend gets my camera out and she starts filming me. She's like, you're so ridiculous. And I said, girl, when this thing gets a thangin'. And she was like. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, that's the name of the tour. Oh my God, I love, I love that that's how you came up with the name. Yeah. All right, we have to do a commercial break. Matt's stand-up tour is amazing, and it's called Win That Thing, Gets a Thing, and now we know where it came from, so go with that. Go online also for more info on cities and dates.